Hey, what's up everybody? This is Michael. And Henny. Uh, today we'll be uh, doing a mo beginner's motorcycle gear series. Um, today we'll be reviewing about helmets. Uh, our next part would be jacket, um, gloves, shoes or boots, and the pants. Okay, so let's start! Wow. Hey guys, so this was my first helmet. This is an AGV K1 warm up uh, helmet. Uh, it cost me around 209 bucks uh, via Amazon. Uh, why did I pick this helmet? Because it looked sexy as hell. Um, as I put it throughout the throughout my rides, it felt very comfortable, easy to put on. Uh, it has a double ring chin strap. I'll be rank rating the helmets with, with these qualities. Ventilation, protection, comfort, style, visibility, and the wind noise. Let's start with ventilation. This little part is not too much ventilation, but it's more like to leave a gap in here so that the wind can go in and it doesn't fog up things up. Close it and can fully close. Open it. Next ones are up here, these two. Close it, open, same thing. This three actually. And uh, yeah, this is uh, the more ventilation so that it comes out and it goes in. Uh, yeah. Alright, the next thing will be protection. Uh, I can't say much, but uh, one thing is I did go down in a, in a lane splitting situation, it was low speed. Uh, I got here with another car, um, but yeah, I fell on my head. Um, I fell on the right side. I can't really tell where the hit was, but uh, luckily I went out without any head injuries or anything. But yeah, the hit is probably around here. Uh, but yeah, protection. I guess it's great. It's great to save me from head injuries. Um, I didn't feel any pressure points uh, up to now. I still don't feel any pressure points. So this is very good comfort. Uh, as for visibility, I think it's pretty good since it covers all the way here. Just like normal peripheral uh, visibility, you can see around here, just how normally you would be able to see. As for style, this is really sexy, sporty. Uh, yeah, I just think it looks really good. Um, as for wind noise, it is just okay. Um, on that highway, you will still feel and hear a lot, unless you are still playing music with those decibels. You will get that hearing bad one day. So overall, I think, in my opinion, for this, uh, my first helmet, it was pretty good. Uh, it has the looks, for sure. Uh, great protection very comfortable uh, didn't get any pressure points and uh, great visibility on the sides uh, hey guys um now we'll be reviewing our current helmet this <laughs> this is my uh mine is an agv k5 s typhoon helmet Mine is your evil modular helmet. <laughs> um, so, honey, why did you decide to choose that helmet? Well, I didn't do much research actually. <laughs> I just bought it because it was on sale from 300, I think, 350. It was down to 170. So, that's why. Okay, fair enough. Uh, my this uh, upgrade because uh, my K1, as you guys saw, uh, it was, well, I didn't mention it, but it was lacking that sun visor. And um, yeah, this one has it. It's somewhere here. Clack. Both have them. Yeah, uh, it makes a lot of difference, especially since I ride with eyeglasses. 
uh, it's either prescription sunglasses or yeah I just eyeglasses so yeah I get the two of them right here and uh, after the accident or the little fall they recommend uh, upgrading upgrading helmet not just changing helmet so. he says he didn't complain for upgrading to your helmet anyway did you yeah yeah this is shinier and better okay so let's start the review <laughs> let's start with comfort is that is your helmet comfortable well before this helmet i actually had a different helmet that wasn't mine and it wasn't perfectly fitted on my head so it was pretty loose so when i got this helmet i could feel pressure points uh, on top of my head uh, i heard it's normal which right. hopefully it will go away because after like 40 minutes of riding it does hurt a little bit where i have to take it out take it off and you know just have a little break because it hurts a lot but so comfortability one out of no one to ten How would you i would do? say six Six. Okay. It's not too bad, but it's not the best there. So let's see. Hopefully, I will break it in. What about you, Michael? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, my helmet, yeah, it is pretty comfortable. But the only downside is uh, right here, the forehead. Since they added the sun visor, it adds a little bit, a couple inches. Uh, so it hits you more around here. But yeah, I can still, I, I can live through that. But overall, yeah, pretty comfortable. Let's put it on. Let's put it on. One, okay. two, three. Easy to put it on. Yeah. <laughs> I still struggle with mine a little bit, how to put it on. But I know I have the modular one, so it should be easier to put on. But... So the next point is ventilation. How did it feel? during the rides were you well ventilated do you feel airflow or were you sweating like a piggy well usually i don't sweat as much <laughs> as you do okay i guess um i usually leave all of mine like open so yeah. i can really feel like a little bit of wind it feels like it cools me down on top a lot actually because mm -hmm. one time i left it all uh, closed down and i felt really hot uh, but then I wasn't sweating, sweating. Close now, you mean the visor? No, the, the vents. The vents around. Oh, okay. So when I open them, I definitely can feel like a little bit of coldness coming in for sure. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're like going locally and my visor is down. That's the only thing where, like, you know, the air goes in. Yeah, but this one, uh, it has a bigger vent on top here. Uh, so the ventilation is actually really good, better than the K1. Uh, so yeah, but doing the rides highway, yeah. you can feel the wind in there. It's it's very fresh, and uh, yeah, nothing goes down in here from the chin area. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So, so for protection, I can't really comment too much because I or we haven't had any accidents. It's not going good. Um, but yeah, it's DOT certified, so yeah. So for style, uh, you judge it yourself, but for me, I love, I like it. It's even better than the K1, it's too sporty. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just love it. What about you? For me... I don't know if you can hear me anyway. So for me, um, can't complain. I would definitely prefer different color and different style, uh, but it's not bad. Um, it's just, I feel like it's kind of the standard. Mm -hmm. Nothing special. Okay. okay, I love full face helmet. Uh, as for visibility, same with the K1, or it's, it's pretty good. Uh, you can see clearly around your peripheral vision um so yeah no no arguments no complaints about that same same <laughs> so wind noise it's still the same i don't feel an improvement from k1 um i still get a lot of uh, that wind noise in there i i also play music so it doesn't bother me but still the decibels of the wind 
smooth through damage that hearing what about you with noise i can definitely hear the wind but it's definitely better than the one that i had before the world one mm. that was cheaper than this that one was even worse with the wind actually but also i think it's because of the vents being open i feel like there's more wind for sure like you know more of the noise coming in then if i close it down it's still definitely a bit quieter you know what i mean <laughs> Oh yeah, quick comment. So on my helmet or my visor, it has the pin locks in here. And uh, I really recommend them just because when you go high speed or just twist this around and you have the visor all the way down, and as you ride and breathe, it doesn't fog in there. So yeah, really recommend them. So overall, would I recommend this helmet? Definitely for those who want a sporty look helmet. Uh, yeah, it's very comfortable, great ventilation, uh, very stylish. Um, so yeah, take this one. Approve for me. <laughs> um, I would definitely still recommend it. Um, the helmet I had before was worse than this, so this is like so much better. Um, I think maybe for my head size and all I have shape mm -hmm. it might not be the best fit and it is a modular which i don't <laughs> really um, like as much as like a full face uh, but i would definitely still recommend it especially for the price and if it's on sale go for it can i put an egg shape here okay. <laughs>